TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, August 9th, 2013. Some more insurance numbers are coming in from England. Catlin has posted first half pre-tax net income of $145 million, down uh, from $231 million for the same period last year. Catlin took a $99 million hit as a result of the European floods. They also saw an 80% drop in their investment income, which is uh, not anything to sneeze at. Uh, the continuing saga of the purchase of American safety by uh, two companies, Fairfax Holdings Group, which owns Odyssey Re, and Tower Insurance Group, continues to raise questions. Uh, the reinsurance group of American Safety Re is being purchased by Tower Insurance. Tower Insurance yesterday announced that they were withholding publication of their quarterly numbers pending uh, review. Uh, there's some concern that that deal may not go through for the reinsurance unit. And the uh, Fairfax purchase of the main overall non-reinsurance unit uh, was questioned immediately by a competing bidder called Catalina Venture Funds, which is a hedge fund. Uh, initially, Fairfax Holding Group dismissed it, as did American Safety. But then, lo and behold, Fairfax came back today with an improved bid for the purchase of the uh, insurance company. So perhaps there is something there. Um, American Safety saw their purchase price offer go up from $29.25 a share to $30.25 a share. So uh, Fairfax increased it by a dollar. Earlier this week, a, a transit bus in San Francisco caught on fire on the Geary Street line on itself. The uh, 60-foot articulated 38 Geary bus, uh, which caught fire on August 2nd, was not a big deal, except it happened again yesterday afternoon on the same bus line with another bus. Uh, a fire was caused in the engine compartment. Uh, fire department personnel came, put the fire out, and the passengers were evacuated with no reports of any damage or injuries. Meanwhile, in Argentina, that explosion that leveled an apartment building in the third largest city of Rosario continues. There are still 12 people remaining unaccounted for. Officially now 10 have died. It's expected that these other 12 will not be found, so the total will go up to 22. Politicians nationally canceled uh, Thursday's closing campaign rallies yesterday ahead of a 48-hour moratorium before the Sunday election. Uh, <clears throat> two repairmen are in custody as a judge is probing possible criminal negligence. Apparently, they didn't replace a natural gas safety valve when they were asked. Lawsuits are beginning already in connection with the flight, uh, with the crash of Asiana Flight 214 in San Francisco on July 22nd. Um, a number of uh, victims of the crash, 12 to be exact, have filed a, cr a, a lawsuit against both Asiana and Boeing, the maker of the 777 that crashed. Apparently, the complaint states that Boeing should have updated the 777 with an oral command warning, an auditory warning, like it has done with some of its 737s. The auditory warning would say, uh, low speed, pull up. Uh, of course, uh, some observers, including a retired Captain Dick Deeds, who was a member of an airline safety group, said, well, the new technology is useful, but it is, after all, the pilot's first responsibility to fly the plane. He has to take note of the incoming glide pattern and the speed and the setting of the flaps. Just in case you're being lulled into complacency in the northeastern United States or in the Caribbean, don't be. The National Hurricane Center announced today that in fact the uh, storm season is on track and they say there's a 70% chance of nine, nine named hurricanes still for the remainder of this year. Jerry Bell, the uh, seasonal forecaster for hurricanes of the National Weather Service said the peak of the hurricane season is now upon us. If you live on or near the coast, now is the time to prepare. It's sort of ominous. Two pilots of uh, Turkish Airlines uh, 737 surfaced from Beirut to Ankara were kidnapped today. Uh, they were seized off a crew bus in the suburbs of Beirut, and they're being held apparently in exchange for uh, release of hostages of uh, nine Sunni Muslims, excuse me, nine Shia Muslims, that were apparently abducted in Syria earlier this year when relatives of the kidnapped people uh, learned that the kidnapping group of the airline pilots had stipulated the release of the pilots. Uh, there was cheering and celebration in the streets in that city in Syria last night. This evening, the $26 million man, Alex Rodriguez, who is continuing to draw a $2 million every two-week paycheck from the New York Yankees, uh, while his insurance company is watching nervously, is going to return for the first time 
uh, in the midst of this imbroglio over his use of banned substances to Yankee Stadium. It's expected that he's going to be booed loudly. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant weekend.